Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make the Jabura with the pearlescent paper pack. So I've cut out two of the larger ones, one of the medium, one of the small, and one of the smallest here out of just ordinary brown cut cardstock. And I've distressed that with some ink and I have some leaves here, but I'll be adding the leaves um, when we add it to the pot. So I'll be showing you what to do with the leaves in preparation for that and you're also going to be needing a glue gun some oasis tape which i have tucked away here there we go oasis tape there floral tape it goes by many names and then also some florist wire and this one is green but you can just use the silver type that's absolutely fine okay so first off i'm going to start off by taking the wire i'm going to fold that in half just like so so i have a little loop at the top there and then what I'm going to do is take my pliers and then I'm just going to kind of just squeeze it to make a smaller loop because it can get a bit tricky and then I'm going to fold it over to make a bend so it should look something like that and then I'm going to set that aside I'm going to take another one and I'm going to chop this one in half and these two little ones are going to be for the leaves so let's pop all of our wires aside and now we can start on our petals. So again, you can do this without the wires. Um, you can just literally just assemble your flowers together and then stick it on a card or a gift box. But we're going to be making one with an actual stem for this one. So we need a flower shaping tool <clears throat> or something with a round end. And I've turned the um, flower upside down now and we're just going to rub each one just to bend it backwards. So if you actually look at photos of um, Jaberas, the outside petals kind of bend outwards and then the centre ones, they close inwards. So that is the look that we're going for. Okay, so I've just done the leaves both sides just to give them a little bit of texture. So now we can get gluing it together. So I've got my glue gun already ready. Okay, so we're going to be starting off with the outside one first. But before we do that, I'm going to poke a hole right through the centre of the largest one, just on one of them, not on both. And I'm going to grab the piece of wire that we prepared with the loop and I'm going to pop that through the center so we're going to glue it just in place like that so add glue just to there and then feed that through and then hold it in place while it while it sets Okay, so now we can add the next one on now. And then I'm going to stagger the petals so that they're overlapping. Creating a nice natural sort of pattern. There we go. That's coming together really nicely now. And then I'm going to glue on these ones here. So these ones I've curved inwards. And the next one now. 
again I'm alternating the spikes create a nice pattern there and then if I can find it oh here it is I put it way over there I'm going to glue this one right in the center now with these jaberas there's so many different colors that you can go for so you can use some of my other pads as well for this so the fuchsia one would make some really nice pink jabera ones uh, flowers okay so that is pretty much our jabera done at the top and you can add so many more um, layers of these petals if you really want to make a really full flower so you can just leave it like that or we can now add some of this um, special tape but before we get to that point I just want to glue the wire onto these two leaves here so I'm just going to take the underside of the leaf add a dot of glue there and there and a glue gun would be best for this and I'm just going to add this piece of wire just to the underneath section and then once that dries you can then kind of bend your leaf and manipulate that however you wish when you have um, your when you have it added to the flower so let's do the same on this one turn it over Okay, so I'm going to set those aside to dry. And now for adding this tape here. So this is kind of like a stretchy tape. And as you stretch it, it gets a little stickier. So it kind of releases some of the adhesive. So on the underside of the flower, I'm just going to add just a tiny bit of glue to just to get this tape on there. Try not to burn yourself doing this. I'm sure you, no one has any fingertips left or the fingerprints left I'm sure I don't and then we can just wrap this around and you kind of pull it and stretch it round as we go around and we work our way down the flower so do take your time with this I'm doing this quickly but do take your time And then if you want to, you can add in your leaves now. So this was the first one we did, so that should be more or less set now. And as you can see, we can kind of just bend it. It's got that strength in the leaves now for us to do that. And we can pop that inside. It's a little bit like making a French plait, I guess. We'll go down a bit lower. And for this last little piece here, we're just going to curl that round and tuck that in. Okay, so that is how you make this beautiful jabera. How beautiful is that? <laughs> 